Welcome back to C2s and K5s. Today I am installing a bypass switch on my aftermarket stereo and the C10. And this is a common problem when you have a newer radio in, in an older vehicle. Because the newer radios have a parking brake bypass switch so you can't like watch videos or whatever while you're driving because obviously that's unsafe. So please don't do this, but if this is something you do want to do, this is all on you. But I'm gonna show you how I did it. So right now I've got an Alpine ILX650 stereo in here. I could do Bluetooth, I can do the radio, I can do whatever. Sound angle will vary so APR. we get all that. If I go to here and I try to go to set my clock, because as you'll see it's saying 1207, but I can't go into any of these other functions. The only way that'll work is if this bypass switch is hardwired in. So I got this one from eBay. It was like 12 or $13, I think. And it only comes with four wires. It's just this little, little bitty thing. So the black obviously is gonna be ground. The blue and the yellow and blue is gonna go to the yellow blue on the Alpine. Uh, the yellow black, I don't think I need that because it says that's supposed to go to the parking brake bypass switch, which we obviously don't have. And then the blue and white is going to go to the blue and white, which is uh, a by is the uh, remote turn on switch if you have an amplifier or anything like that. So I'm going to connect it just because I'm in here. So I'm going to get this pulled out and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here it is all wired up. I jumped into my ground wire there. The yellow and blue goes to the yellow and blue, which is that one there. I had to put a little extension on it. The blue and white is going to the blue and white for the remote, if just in case it's one less thing I have to worry about. Yellow and black, I'm pretty sure I don't need, but that's what the instructions say. And it should work just fine. So we're gonna put this back, we're gonna plug everything back in, and we'll try it. Here we are, we've got it all wired back in and hooked up. Let me give it a shot and see what happens. Put our main screen, go to setup. There it is, they're all there. Now I can go and change my clock and change the language if I want to. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. So that does it for today. It's another video. So if you've got an older vehicle and a newer stereo and you can't get some of those functions to work, that's how you uh, fix that. I'll put a link in the description for the bypass switch. And again, I'm not connected to them. I'm not getting any money from that. But that's how you'd fix that problem. So stay tuned for more videos on the C10 and for the Corvette too. Thanks for watching.